Techview.com, Randall Bennett here with Eric Sandy and Isaac Tar. We're talking CES. Yesterday we went to a really cool event called CES Unveiled, where lots of companies get together, they want to show off their wares, and among them, the highlights, Lenovo has a really cool uh, changeable tablet. I don't even know how to describe it, it's so cool to me. Okay, so uh, what's, what's the deal, Ayas? We ran a video of this yesterday, or this morning, depending yeah. on what time, <laughs> you're at, what time zone you're in. <laughs> Anyway, so it looks like a regular laptop. You open it up, and you can actually take the screen right off. Now, I know this sounds crazy, like you're just ripping the screen off, but it actually has another operating system, another processor running in the screen. Now, when you reconnect the device, it actually syncs up what you're doing. So if you were like in Mozilla Firefox on the tablet portion, it's going to go to Windows 7 once you reconnect it and then go to that site. So it's kind of a really cool idea. It is just, that's just, I mean, we have the video. Oh, and you can watch, you can watch eyes. You just like, it, it, it's oh, yeah. very soft. Like you just pick it up and you're done and then you put it back and you're back. Because it, it goes into a housing. Out. Like if you see that red picture yeah, there, red, that that's a housing that holds it nicely. Back. Very nice that's and tight. Cool stuff. Uh, also, some of the other highlights, power mats back. We're showing off the power map batteries. Now, Eric, what's going on with these? Okay, so the power map batteries, the interesting thing about the power map batteries is that the uh, the new batteries are actually going to be internal, which is much nicer than the old, uh, the bulky ones that used to attach yeah. the iPhone, which Ayaz has been ranting around about for a while. There's, <laughs> I like it. There's also a new mat, which actually has a battery inside of it, so you can, you can charge the mat, charge the device, and then if your device dies, you can recharge it from the mat wherever you are. Yeah, and so, they also had it for the BlackBerry 9700, right. so the Bolt 2, and they had it for the MyTouch, no added bulk. Right. I thought was just yeah, internal batteries. That's something I have. Great. That's a huge problem I have with power mat in general. Uh, I actually got one for Christmas for my parents, and I thought it was the like sketchiest gift because it's a hundred bucks plus you have to buy fifty bucks for each one. So it's still oh, also it's had, still pricey though. They have right? new cheaper models. So instead of having three units charged on one device, they now have a small mat that has one. Uh, what do you call them? One, one charge unit charge. Yeah. and there's two. So they're starting at like $39 now, so they're getting much cheaper because that was one of the problems was this right. ridiculous price. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have Scott from PowerMat by tomorrow, and he's gonna bring all this stuff by to show us on this table right here, so you can check back for that. Also, an ebook reader with a bit of a two-face, as it were, yeah, it's yeah. the Entourage Edge. Now, I is, it's an Android device on one side, an e-ink display on the other. What's going on with this e Well, this thing's actually really large. Okay, the e-ink display is 9.7 inches, and so is the, um, the Android device. The Android device, works together with the e-ink. So when you're actually highlighting things on the, because you can actually highlight things in the e-ink, it's actually building an index on the on the Android side, which is pretty, pretty ridiculous. I mean, it's pretty novel, yeah, yeah. it's pretty interesting. Yeah, and but there's some downsides though, right? It was pretty sluggish, yeah. okay? So you can actually make annotations on the e-ink, but you have to like switch modes, and then you have to switch modes to do actual um, highlighting and things. Yeah. It seems like with a firmware upgrade, Probably be way better. Yeah, it's still pricey. kind of being developed. So yeah, lots of but it's really stuff. promising. What's I think. the? You say it's very pricey. Four ninety. Four ninety. That's pretty, coming out in March. But you got two screens. Like yeah. I can understand. I, I can appreciate why it's expensive. And oh yeah, it's, it's, it's not it expensive needs a lot of speed before it gets anywhere. Though. Yeah, I it'll mean, be interesting to see. If you, if you watch our video, you'll see the interface in action. Now, speaking of cool interfaces, the Pure Sensia. It's sort of like a chumby without the cuteness, right? What's, it what's it the is deal? a chumby without the cuteness and slightly more apps. The 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 Pure Sensia is a radio, which uh, as I as I was told by the guy who was there, is a radio <laughs> for the Facebook and Twitter generation. You that's, that true. That one, uh, <laughs> it's true. That's true. It what has he said. over a thousand uh, uh, stations, you know, mainly because it's internet it's radio, radio, so you can do pretty much whatever you want with the thing. Uh, at open apps, open SDK, uh, Linux development environment. So you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want to for it. But to unlike the thing. Chumbi, when that launched, this actually has a rechargeable battery in it. So you yes. can actually yeah. take it and move it. Now, the demo model we saw didn't have it. They go, we forgot the rechargeable battery. But they're coming by with one. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're better. They're coming by our booth as well, yeah. so we'll be checking them out as well. Datawind and Popbox, let's go over those really quick. I oh, have Datawind Go. <laughs> Datawind, I think, Eric, you should cover Datawind. All right, Eric, go for the, it. The Datawind is a, a small, uh, semi-useless plastic device. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, it's, it's a small netbook with, uh, I think it was maybe a six-inch screen. Yeah, six and also. Seven. Uh, anyway, it comes with 30 hours of CDMA internet service. It's got Wi-Fi and stuff in, uh, in it, but really a $200 device with 30 hours of service. If you want more CDMA internet, you're going to have to pay an extra 10 bucks uh, unless you go off the Wi-Fi. It's, it looked cheap, it looked clunky, and I still don't get the concept. Yeah, well, it's yeah. definitely, and, I, and I you, wanna, you spoke to the VP of sales, and he, he couldn't, couldn't sell, sell it to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to I sit down with them a little bit more, see what's going on. I think they'll come at, by now. They're going to be at uh, uh, C, uh, some other press event. Oh, okay. So we're checking them out as well. Popbox, Popbox. Uh, sort of like a 
desktop or a, it's a boxy. box that sort of streams movies like Voodoo or Boxy. I mean, what's sort of the what's the thing with Hotbox? Hotbox, another media streamer for your living room. Pretty much, that's what I can tell you about it. Uh, little box, hundred twenty nine dollars. Pretty cheap. It has apps, so it's like everything else you've seen. It's the boxy box. But it's one hundred twenty nine dollars. <laughs> no hard drive installed, and uh, they didn't have much things working. After. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, it's another media streamer. It's good to see that you know media streamers are continuing to sort of push forward. One hundred twenty nine bucks is really the selling point it's there. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty great. good. Yeah. Just Western Digital has like a seventy nine dollar one. You could. They're do all that. sort of like in the same ballpark. So yeah. keep checking for those. Guys, sounds like we had a good time. We have four videos up from that press event. If you want to check those out, techview.com. You can click on the CES 10 link. It's weird to say that, CES 10. At the, in the na top navigation, get all your videos there. I'm Randall Bennett. That's I, Zach Tar, Sarek Sandin, and we'll see you next time. Later.